Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Jamila the Killer, and I'm here bringing you uh, week three of my uh, Houston Texans franchise slash connected careers mode. And this week I'm taking on the Denver Broncos and the intimidating quarterback that is Peyton Manning. Uh, I'm always afraid to go up against him just because, you know, he is Peyton Manning. Um, no matter uh, what his rating is, he can carve up defense if he wants to. And yeah, I'm just trying to stop that this game. Um, working with some mic settings also. Hopefully there's a little bit of a difference for you. Hopefully it's a little bit better quality. I'm still kind of tweaking it. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So the opening kickoff, I do decide to kick to him. And yeah, kind of want to see what he's going to do. Uh, so first play from the scrimmage, they hand off to Willis McGahee, who gets a nice seven-yard rush. Uh, now he uh, drops back for a nice early sack, which if you can sack Peyton Manning, that is a good day. Uh, don't want to give him any time to be able to read your defense and pick you apart. Uh, but they keep up with the ground game here with McGahee, just kind of just bull rushing through, kind of like his old Buffalo days. Uh, just kind of a beast, you know, Peyton, uh, in this play standing strong in the pocket, finds his uh, receiver Decker up on the, the left side there and uh, kind of hits me for a first down. So he's kind of moving down the field, not too bad. I uh, do get to third and eight, though, so not good for him, and he throws a little bit of a, a bad pass. Uh, if he would have thrown that a little more inbounds, probably would have been picked off, though, so it's okay. And on fourth down, they do miss that field goal, which is awesome. Can never complain about someone missing a field goal, so... Now you guys know my strategy. I'm just here trying to get Arian Foster some running yards here. Start off the game off early, so hopefully my play action pass will work out for me in the end. Um, doesn't work out too good. First drive here, I stall. Kind of go one for one for one yard. And yeah, so I do end up punting away. And you see McGahee. Or actually, no, that's no Sean Moreno, another guy that I like. Um, starts running all over me. And look at the protection that Manning has here. Just uh, disappointing. But you see, with all that protection, he still threw a terrible pass. Something you don't see from Manning that often. Now he's starting to do a little check down pass. Doesn't work out for him because he gets fourth and something. He has to punt. And on first and ten here, I do a draw play to Foster and I get a nice chunk of yards. And my leg is cramping. Hold the phones. Ugh. My goodness. All right. Uh, back to Foster, you know, carrying the ball. Uh, do that. And I see the rush coming, so I just kind of dump it off down low. Uh, does get caught by Andre Johnson. So and that guy's like, whoa, got a badass over here. Uh, as you see, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit of a, a tough time. Time running the ball, trying to go up the middle. It's not really working too well. Uh, do the stretch play here because the blocking, I know most of you probably already know this, but the blocking on a stretch play, for some reason, is better than um, a normal run play. I, I don't know what it is. And right there, I tried to smirtle for Mr. Hurricane because he, he likes smirtling. And I thought I could do it with Ben Tate, but I did not. So, yeah, so I'm up 7 nothing though after I get that run in, so we're doing pretty good. Kid is always good to be up against Manny, make him play from behind, although he is pretty awesome when he plays from behind, so got to watch out for him. He's a very, very good quarterback, as you see by the NFL this year. He's doing pretty good for himself. But uh, nonetheless, I do not want him to succeed against me, so I'm going to do everything I can to try to stop him. As you see, I'm playing as Quinn Jr. up there because I like playing the safety position. Uh, but you see I kind of fail there on the user skills and uh, yeah, Willis McGahee kind of just dominates me so it makes me look stupid. It is what it is though, I'm not too mad because I like McGahee like I said uh, and I have no problems with that and I would pick him up if he was ever in free agency because I do enjoy him like I said. Uh, but uh, then again, we're at 3rd and 12 here for Manny and he throws another kind of errant pass and that uh, goes out of bounds, forces him to punt so it gives me another chance to rack up the score a little bit here. But I make a misread, did not even see that guy in coverage, and I throw a pick right to, I believe it's their linebacker. I don't know the Broncos linebacker, so it could be a D-end or D-lineman, I guess I don't really know. And as you see here, he gets a nice uh, run up the middle. That's my weakest point, is trying to block that. And this guy's just a monster, just, bah, get the hell off me. Um, so it gets him off, and not bad, I think that was a fullback. The fullback was pretty beast, kind of John Coon-like, but not as good as John Coon. Uh, <laughs> If anyone of you guys saw uh, Not As Fans last stream, uh, two streams ago, and I dominated with John Coon. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Uh, start making some completions here, kind of trying to move down the field, because now it is 7-7, seven to seven, so I am kind of in a little bit of a bind here. Uh, Duke dropped back, and I get sacked before halftime. Uh, I'm trying to get a little last-minute drive here to get some points, and I get back-to-back -back sacks on me. I'm sitting at 4th and 28, got a punt, and I give the ball back to Manning with 20 seconds left, which is an eternity in Madden. And as you can see, he's just starting to go right down the field on me. He's starting to get in field goal range. Not liking it. Just getting a ton of time in the pocket. 
think the the pressure there got to him because he threw a very overthrown pass out of bounds. So can't fault him for that. I probably done the same thing. But he does complete a uh, pass rate to about the 20, the 18, with five seconds left. And they take the timeout, and they do uh, get the field goal here. So they are up 10-7 to 7 at half, which is not good. But I do get the ball back, so that's good. Uh, but I do have one more shot here before halftime to get something, make something happen. Uh, so I get a nice run with Foster here. Not doing bad, not doing bad at all. Uh, I do drop back to pass because I do need to get some yards. But uh, don't get as many as I need it. I get the little screen pass to Foster there. Uh, this is in the second half. I do apologize. I completely missed that. Uh, I did not get anything before the halftime. But as you see Ben Tate just shoving people out of the way. Get out of my way, fool. Uh, but that's all he gets. He doesn't get much yards. So, is what it is. I'm starting to get Daniels uh, involved in the game a little bit here with the tight ends. A uh, very good tight end, like I said. If you've never used him, you should go ahead and do that. Uh, he catches quite a bit of passes. He's only dropped two, I think, for me this year. Um, which is uh, pretty fantastic. Uh, I want to take a little bit of an off-topic right here, guys. I'm watching the show Amish, Ma uh, Amish Mafia because it's premiering tonight. It's amazing. Like, I'm pretty sure. Like, I know it's probably staged and all, but it's pretty boss. And within the first ten minutes, this guy pulled out a shotgun and shot some guy's car. It, it's pretty awesome. You guys need to watch it. Uh, yeah. But you see, I missed that field goal because I suck. So, that puts them in pretty decent field position, starting from their 38. Is that what that is? 35? And, you know, giving Peyton Manning a short field, a uh, terrible idea. Gets a nice little block there from his uh, receiver to, to spring his guy for a few extra yards. And I'm kind of disappointed right now because I'm not able to take the lead. I want to take the lead and want to keep my undefeated streak alive. Right now I'm sitting at 2-0. and And hopefully I can go to 3-0 after this game. We'll find out. Uh, this was a very fun game, actually. Uh, a lot of my guys got off their hot streak, so it actually made it a little more competitive, as you saw. Um, not getting a ton of rushing yards. Like, I'm still getting pretty decent my running yards. And that was a nice uh, little catch there by... Um, Tammy, uh, pretty good to uh, keep his feet in bounds. I'm not, I think he's just regular receiver though, so, oof, that guy gets lit up. Um, I thought he might have been a tight end. We're making that kind of a catch would have been sweet, but I don't believe he is the tight end, so, yes. And as you see here, I do hold them to fourth and two uh, in the fourth quarter, so they're up 13 to seven now. And, uh, yeah, not looking too good for me. I'm still down by one possession, which is good. Uh, it's easier to come back from that, so I'm going to try to do my best. Uh, another quick thing, uh, I hope, I know I'm not too good at these commentaries, I'm still getting used to them. Uh, if you guys have any kind of tips for me as far as that goes, I would be interested in hearing them, see what I could do better. I'm kind of all over the place right now, and hopefully by the end of this first season here, I will be uh, in line and kind of know what I'm doing a little bit better. So, I think I just hit my keyboard, you guys probably heard that, so don't worry about that. Uh, but, nonetheless, uh, we are still marching. Still got oh, well, Peyton Manning's marching, but he gets sacked right now because Cody's a beast. I don't know who that is, unfortunately, so I cannot uh, cannot say his name. But I do break a nice run with Foster right there once I get the ball back. Uh, so you see I do have quite a few rushing yards for uh, 14 attempts. Try to get a little screen, nothing happens. Jump back inside for a, a one-yard uh, pickup to net me a zero-yard game. And I do end up punting them the ball. I thought about going for it, but with still five minutes, I have faith in my defense that I will be able to stop them and hopefully get a comeback. Yeah, I'm running out of breath here. I'm talking really fast. I'm not used to this. Another thing I got to get used to. I'm, hopefully you guys can't hear all the breathing sounds that I'm doing. If you do, I'm sorry. It's probably pretty annoying, but got to get used to this again. And I got stuck up on my lineman there a couple times. I was very disappointed. I think I could have had some pretty decent yards there. And I get a nice little out route to Foster uh, to kind of help me here. So we have a two-minute drill going on right now. Down by six. Minute 10 left to go, and I pick up a nice play right there. I love that play. I don't know what it's called, but every time it pops up in the the Madden thing, I always take it because it's, it's a pretty good play. Uh, I think that was the bench play that I just ran there. It used to be in the Jacksonville scheme that I run on Mutt. Uh, pretty awesome play. I love running plays out of the shotgun. And that would have been a nice catch if the guy would have actually went for it and possibly caught it, but I almost gets sacked right there. That would have been terrible, and I know I say but a lot. I just realized that. I'm going to try to cut that out. And I, I do get a nice play right there, as you see. I get Foster one-on-one -on -one with someone, a linebacker maybe. And he just kind of goes right on in. I score a touchdown. Uh, so I am up, th I'm tied 13-13 right now. And here we go to take the lead. The extra point is up and good. So we are at 14-13 with 38 seconds left to go. And now Manning is here to try to figure out if he can get a comeback going. Uh, he gets a nice little dump off there. So he gets to the, the 41, so it's first and 10 with 27 seconds, we're going. Gets a nice toe-tap catch there, saves the timeout, gets out of bounds. We're down to 12 seconds to go. Uh, fast forward up to third and 10. Block that, I almost picked that with, uh, with my safety, I read that all the way. 
but fourth down is where it matters. Right there, he gets the catch, calls the timeout, so it's first and 10. Uh, 37 yard field goal, it's up, and it is no good. I uh, went right to the left, not gonna happen, so I do manage to make that two minute uh, warning drill thing come up, and I got the win. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Uh, so we are 3 0. We've beaten the uh, Broncos, the Jaguars, and the some other team. I don't remember the other team. It's okay though. So you see the guys all run out to the field like, yeah, yeah, I'm awesome. And Cole really wants this started to play Madden, yeah. And that guy's all sad. So I'm going to go check my stats. I actually don't remember what my stats were, uh, but we'll find out right here. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Matt Schaub, not a pretty, not a that good of a completion percentage or quarterback rating, I should say. Uh, but, you know, decent. We got the win, so that's all that matters. Uh, while we look over the stats here, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, comment and subscribe. Um... If you have not, tell your friends. I'm uh, just about to hit 1,000 subscribers. I think I'm at 991 last I checked. So, yeah, that would be pretty awesome. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. See ya.